Throughout my life, I've been a very feminine, emasculated man, as opposed to being a very masculine, hyper aggressive man. And I will choose being masculine every single day of the week. Obviously, man, this entire generation of men is more emasculated or more feminine than ever before. So today, let's just jump straight into it, man. I've got nine different things that are stealing your masculine energy, your masculine essence. So let's level up, bro. Let's get it. We're a generation of men raised by women. I'm wondering if another woman is really the answer we need. This leads us into our first thing, taking your masculine energy, and it's going to be being led by a woman. Now, men and women, we have an equal amount of value, but we are not the same. All throughout history, men are supposed to be the ones who lead. Women are supposed to be on our sides, loving us, protecting us, but they're not supposed to be leading us. From my personal experience, anytime I had been led by a woman when I was feminine, when I was emasculated, it literally led to my complete destruction. It led to an abyss just for all these women to completely leave my life. So if you truly want to become more masculine, man, embrace who you truly are. You need to stop listening to women. This doesn't mean you have to disrespect them, but this does mean that you have to stop listening to their advice. I personally never received advice from a woman that has benefited my life in any aspect. So this means you need to stop listening to your mother, your sister, your girlfriend, anybody, man. The only person you should ever listen to is another man in a higher position in life that you want to get to. Like an older man who's very wise, or maybe like you want to get into shape, so you're gonna to listen to the guy who's obviously in better shape than you. Like you only listen to men who are further ahead in life. Outside of that, you should not be listening to anybody. Being a victim will destroy your masculine energy quicker than anything. Oh, some bad things happened. They betrayed me. Life is so bad, blah, 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 blah. Here's the thing, man. Every single person goes through shit. And everybody, we all think that our trauma makes us unique. When the fact is, every single one of us, we have our story. We all go through our stuff. Now, I don't care if it was your fault. I don't care if it was someone else's fault. I want you to do something for me. I want you to take complete, full responsibility for everything that happens to you. Maybe a family member betrayed you. Maybe your girlfriend betrayed you. Maybe life just got you down. Maybe during 2020, you got set back financially. So you want to blame external factors. Here's the thing, man. If you want to become more masculine, embrace this energy, it's time to take responsibility for everything. It is your fault, even if it isn't. You need to stop being indecisive. Stop sitting in your room thinking about, oh, is this the thing to do? Is this the thing to do? If you are truly in your masculine essence, it doesn't matter really what you do as long as you do something. You keep moving forward. Even if you mess up, even if you completely fall flat on your face, it's a complete failure. You're still going to learn and you're going to keep moving forward. That is the key. That is the secret. As a man in his masculine energy, you will always keep moving forward. Nothing is going to break you. Nothing is going to get you down. But you can't just pause. You can't just stop and become indecisive. Oh, I don't know the best decision to make. Yes, you do, man. It's that one that you keep thinking about. I know it. You have that same idea in your head. You've been thinking for months. It's like, oh, I really want to start this side hustle. Oh, I really want to start YouTube. I really want to start working out. Why the fuck don't you do it today? It is my personal belief that a shitty nine to five will destroy your masculine essence very quickly. So being indoors all day with this fluorescent lighting, listening to people's small talk, listening to your douchebag boss tell you what to do constantly. A man who has not really accomplished more than you in life, he's in a higher position than you job-wise. These things, in my opinion, will steal and zap your masculine energy. And from a guy who has worked nine to fives in the past, I felt a lot more emasculated. Like, I did not feel like I really had my balls when I was constantly being told what to do, left and right, boom, boom, boom. Now, if you're in a position in your job to where you have a lot of power, maybe you're a lawyer, an engineer, completely different story because you're more of like the G. I have nothing against jobs and obviously everyone, they have to earn their stripes. Like everyone has to work a nine to five at some point. And I have a lot of respect for people who are grinding and working their asses off. But the thing is, man, if you stay in this your entire life, 40, 50, 60 years of your life, just making the same amount of money, you're not leveling up. This will destroy your masculine energy. Prawn, 
prawn, prawn, prawn. Do I even have to explain this one? Yes, I do, man, because I really want it ingrained in your head. Now, let's imagine a scenario, as I've stated in the past. You really like a woman. So this is what prawn is to me. You really like a girl. Now, imagine you're sitting in a room watching another guy come in and just completely rail this girl that you really like. Now, how would that make you feel? Would that make you feel empowered, strong, like a Viking? Or would it kind of make you feel like a pussy? Now this to me is pornography. And I know it's a bit intense, but with the way technology is going, man, psychologically, there really is no difference. Your brain is gonna perceive this the exact same as if you were actually there in person. So every time you watch prawn, every time you watch those videos, you are essentially cooking yourself and you're destroying your masculine energy. You might as well go into your kitchen, get a knife, chop your nuts off. That's the same thing to me. You have terrible health, man. This is gonna completely destroy your masculine essence. Now, obviously, there's gonna be the hormonal factor. So you don't get enough sleep, you're over 15% body fat, boom, higher estrogen, less testosterone. So obviously, yeah, you're gonna be more emasculated. But it comes down to different things, man. As a man, you're supposed to pride in yourself. This means you're doing your sprints, you're taking your boxing classes, like you're lifting your weights. And I've always said this, man, you don't have to be in crazy shape. Like obviously I take things to the next level with my physique, but I need to, it's my job, I train others. So I need to have a physique that displays excellence. You don't have to do that, man. Like you can be 12 to 15% body fat, very fit, but the key is to take care of your body, man. This is your temple. This is where success is going to originate from. If you cannot master your own temple, it's going to be very hard to master anything else outside of yourself. Let's think of this as energy. If you cannot control this energy, how can you control anything outside of yourself? You allow disrespect. Now, I don't care who disrespects you. I don't care if it's like the closest family member to you. I don't care if it's your woman you've been with for five years. I don't care if it's your best friend. I don't care who it is. You're not gonna allow disrespect. And the fact is, a lot of people allow disrespect, man. It could be subtle things. Like maybe your auntie makes a little jab at you trying to be passive aggressive, things like this. You don't let these things slide, man. If you really want to level up your masculine essence, fully be in control, fully be masculine, you're not gonna allow disrespect from anybody. And obviously this will mean that you have to cut off a lot of people. You're going to have a lot of confrontations. You're gonna piss off a lot of people. But if people keep disrespecting you, man, it's gonna keep going on and on. And at the end of the day, every single man on this planet wants to be respected above all else. So if you're being disrespected and you allow it, this will emasculate you. There's a lot of people out there who love to gossip about me. And one of the things they like to gossip about is saying I'm too aggressive, too angry a lot of the time. And I'm gonna tell you something, man. One of the things that's killing your masculine essence is that you have no rage, you have no fire inside of you. The goal as a man is to become a total fucking animal and then you control this rage. But the ultimate goal is to be like a lion when it comes to this rage. Now, a lot of modern men, they don't have any fire inside of them. You know, like someone disrespects them, it, it's gold time, you know, like you need to fight. There is no internal rage, man. You're just docile. Like you just light on flat, let anything happen. You need a rage inside of you. Now you want to be like a lion. So ultimately you're always calm. Nothing bothers you. You can have like five hyenas around you just trying to mess with you, trying to get in your head. You could not care less. But the second one gets too close, all of a sudden it's pow. The lion shows everyone what's up. He's showing everyone his true fire that he has. This is how you need to be, man. Ultimately, very calm, very stoic. But if somebody messes with you improperly, you're gonna show them exactly who you are. It's also going to help to take up fighting classes as well. This will help control this internal rage that you have. Might just make you even more angry like it does in my case. The last thing destroying your masculine essence is going to be that you are simping for a woman. Unless you're dating a woman, which even then I don't even compliment a woman. Unless you're actually like talking to a girl, you have no reason to be spamming chicks with likes, following girls that don't follow you back, paying for a chick's OnlyFans, paying for porn, all of it, man. It's all simping. You need to stop simping for a woman. Like stop this, man. This is gonna completely emasculate you because they're not providing 
into your life. The only woman you should ever simp for, and it's not even simping because it's an equivalent exchange, is your wife. The woman in your life who's ultimately adding to your life. She's adding to your status. She does cute things for you. She makes you coffee. She'll massage you whenever you need to. Basic things that a good woman is supposed to do. And yes, you can tell her how beautiful she is. Yes, you can tell her how she's the queen of your world. Stuff like this. The cheesy stuff. But it's only the woman you're intimate with. It's not strangers on the internet. So you need to stop simping. Link in the description box for one-on-one -on -one coaching with me, Austin Wayne. I have fitness coaching and then the Wayne Apprenticeship. Also, if you need some supplements, pre-workout, whey protein, creatine, you want to help support me and the channel, KaylaSeek.com, man, best in the industry. Also, guys, subscribe to the channel and hit that like button to push this out to the YouTube algorithm. That's it. I'm gone.